Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good Monday morning, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We are here at the MRP studios in Warsaw uh, with uh, Winston Norman, our editor-in-chief. Winston, good to see you. All right, Craig. How are yeah. you? Good, good. I, you had a big... Uh, Half marathon run this weekend. How was that? Yeah, very good. Yeah, it was uh, all went to plan. Did you did you beat the personal best? I did. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So how fast? Uh, one hour and thirty seven minutes. Wow. Well, I'll tell you a few minutes even quicker than you were planning. Yeah. 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 It was very very a very good run. Great. Great. Well, kicking that off, that success off with our uh, with this week's show and our sponsor, our partner this week, our exclusive partner of the week is. Uh, Newport Logistics Fund, and we had a great interview at MIPIN with Shimon Ostrovsky, who is the uh, CEO of uh, the fund, and a uh, very, very, uh, very interesting interview, um, exclusive we did last week at MIPIN, and you'll see it tomorrow, or we're posting it tomorrow on the show, so uh, stay tuned, very exciting. Uh, they're starting their second fund, and uh, or almost finishing up their second fund, and raising quite a lot of money, so... Um, so some interesting, uh, interesting bits of news and opportunities for investors to still get in on the uh, the next round. Having said that, uh, Winston, let's jump over to you for the uh, the headlines. Sure, Craig. So the headlines for the Monday morning is uh, Hillwood is expanding its portfolio in Warsaw by acquiring a new warehouse. Uh, Harden Construction has completed a giant warehouse uh, complex near. Poznan in Poland. And finally, moving to the retail sector, LCP Properties has opened its 48th retail park in Poland. Yeah, so I saw their press release. Yeah, very exciting on the retail parks there and, uh, and of course, the logistics. So we have a lot going on this week. I mean, it is it is coming up to Easter week, so a lot of, a lot of last minute uh, details and things getting done before the holidays hit. Um, so we've got two big events coming up, one in less than a month, our SEE Real Estate Awards, 19th Annual SEE Real Estate Awards in Romania. Very exciting, a lot of, uh, lot of um, shortlisted companies, a lot of shortlisted projects, which we read through last, last week. Very interesting uh, projects going on. We're doing the event on April 17th at the Athenaeum Palace Hotel. Location is great, right in the center of town and fully remodeled. The ballroom's a little smaller than we're used to, so please book your corporate tables now. We are quickly running out of space. Uh, straight after that is our uh, Baltic Real Estate Awards, uh, which is up on the Polish, uh, Polish seaside, uh, the Polish Riviera in Sopot, which is uh, the Tri-City area. A lot of, uh, I also noticed a lot of nominations from Poland in the po north and also uh, Quite a few from Scandinavia and uh, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. You know? Yeah, they're trickling in. We're getting so, it. Yeah, so very exciting. We're up in uh, up in Tallinn tomorrow. We'll be uh, visiting the Nordic Real Estate Conference, which uh, looks very, very exciting. A lot of things going on up there as well. So we'll be talking to a lot of investors and uh, developers and other um, real estate professionals at that event. So we'll be broadcasting a little bit from up there this week. Um, so having said that, let's take a little break and we'll come right back uh, with Winston Norman in the news. So welcome back, and again, we'd like to thank um, um, Shimon Ostrovsky from uh, Newport uh, Logistics Fund for sponsoring this this week's uh, Coffee with Craig shows and being our partner on the show. So Winston, again, good to see you. Glad you're back from the the marathon, the half marathon, and uh, sounded like we had some exciting headlines this week. Yeah, a lot going on in the uh, logistics uh, arena this week. And uh, developer and investor Hillwood has acquired uh, an industrial facility near Warsaw. And uh, this is Hillwood Ostrava 3. Mm -hmm. And it consists of four warehouses. And uh, it's got a total area of around 82,000 square meters. And all the buildings are certified under the BRIAM standard. And the purchase properties are almost fully leased. 
And according to Hubert uh, Michalek, CEO of Hillwood Polska, mm -hmm. uh, this transaction is a good opportunity to expand our Warsaw portfolio, which is part of the company's long-term strategy moving forwards. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, I think it's a very good opportunity for companies buying around Warsaw. Yeah, it's never uh, you can never have enough logistic space around Warsaw. I'm yeah, sure. it can't be it can't be an easy place to to find good opportunities. Absolutely, last mile stuff as well. Exactly, mm -hmm. competition must be high. And uh, staying in the logistics area, and a hardened construction has completed Hall A in Panatoni Park, Poznan A2. As a result, this uh, huge warehouse facility is now 140,000 square meters uh, near Poznan. It consists of two halls. Uh, with over 32 hectares, and a Hall B, which was completed first, has an area of 80,000 square meters and was built in the DTS formula for H&M Logistics. And the second uh, completed building, Hall A, has around 60,000 square meters and will serve as a logistics and warehouse facility. And, and uh, yes, yeah, so hardened construction up in the uh, Tri-City area. Another big project, yeah. Another yeah. huge project, and uh, there's lots of warehouse logistics development going on in that area of Poland. At the moment. And I think they won last year, and from what I remember at the Baltic Awards, I think they won for their uh, project, or they were one of the sponsors for sure in Baltic. Right, and they're probably a good, a good runner for this year as well. Yeah, but the projects like that. And uh, finally for today, uh, moving to retail, and uh, LC Properties officially uh, opened their 48th retail park under the M brand in Poland. Uh, this is their fifth park in the Pomeranian region. M Park Reda is around 4,500 square meters of GLO, and it's got 13 tenants, and uh, development works began last May, and the general contractor was STB Building. And according to Magdalena Kowalska Kaspovich, uh, COO of LCP Properties, during the ceremony, she said, M Park Reda is another milestone in our journey towards becoming a leader on the Polish retail market. The experience we gain along the way allows us to better adapt our format to the flexible expectations of our tenants, as well as our customers of our M Parks. So M Parks really pushing it out around Poland, it seems now. Poland and Romania. Yeah, they're, they're, now, the biggest, Romania. Yeah, now they're the biggest uh, um, retail park owner in Romania and one of our sponsors there of the SCE Awards. So a lot right. going on on the retail side. Again, retail just keeps taking over somehow. Seems to be. All right. Well, that's great. Thank you all for watching this uh, this edition of the Coffee with Craig show this Monday morning. And, uh, of course, tomorrow, stay tuned for um, Shimon Ostrovsky's, uh, Ostrovsky's um, interview uh, from Newport Logistics Fund. And enjoy the rest of the day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning with the news. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.